Hi guys, this is the examples video for lesson 6.4. We're going to go through two more examples of trig word problems. So let's look at our first one. The angle of depression from the top of a lighthouse to a ship is 33 degrees. The lighthouse is 61 meters tall. How far is the ship from the base of the lighthouse? So I recommend reading through it once, then read through again, and as you come to a piece of information, put that on your diagram. So angle of depression from the top of a lighthouse is 33 degrees. So there's our oops, first piece of information. Oh my God, I keep hitting the wrong button, sorry. Angle of depression is 33 degrees. So where is the angle of depression? Well, that's up high looking down, so it's going to be up here looking down at the ship. And the angle of depression is the angle from horizontal down. So it's going to be this angle here. So that's our 33. OK. So first piece labeled. Now keep reading, the lighthouse is 61 meters tall. So there's our second piece of information. So now we wanna look at our diagram. Which side is the height of the lighthouse? That's this up and down side here, right? So we know that that is 61 meters. Okay. Keep reading, how far is the ship from the base of the lighthouse? So there's our question. This is what we wanna know. How far is the ship from the base? Okay, so which side is the ship from the base? Ship is here, base of the lighthouse is here, so ship from the base is gonna be this bottom side. There's the ship from the base. That's what we want to know. We don't know it yet, so I can't give it a number, so I need to give it a variable. I'm going to call it x because it's a missing side. OK, so we're finding a missing side. So that means this is going to be like a lesson 6.2 problem, if you want to reference that. Um, before we can jump in there, though, we need to fill in one of our angles in our triangle. So we have this angle of depression. That's going to help us find this angle. I know this whole corner is 90. So that means that this angle here is going to be 90 minus 33. So 90 take away 33 leaves 57. So this is 57 degrees. OK. Now I want to know which side do I want, which side do I have. We're going to use that to pick our trig ratio. So the side that I want is this x, which is across from 57. So that's our opposite. And the side we have is next to the 57. So that's our adjacent. OK, so which trig ratio uses opposite and adjacent? It's tangent, right? So my equation is going to be tangent of our angle 57 equals the opposite side, which is x, over the adjacent side, which is 61. OK, we're going to put this into our calculator to make it a decimal. So 51 hit the regular tangent, I get 1.234, which rounds to 1.23. So 1.23 is x over 61. Now I want to get x by itself, so I need to get rid of 61. I'm dividing by 61, so to do the opposite, I need to multiply both sides by 61. I know that the 61s on the right are going to cancel, leaving just x. And then I just want to put this into my calculator. So 61 times 
75.03. And this is a missing side, and our units are meters. So 75.03 meters equals x. Yay, we did it. Not too bad. Okay, let's scroll down to our last example. Montrell is flying a kite directly over Jay's head. Jay is 125 meters from Montrell, and the kite string is 160 meters long. What is the angle of elevation of the kite? Okay, let's read again and start labeling. So Montrell is flying a kite over Jay's head. Jay is 125 meters from Montrell. There's our first piece of numerical information. So which side of our triangle is the distance from J to Montrell? Well, here's J, here's Montrell. So there's the distance between them, right? So this side of our triangle is the 125. Okay, keep reading. The kite string is 160 meters long. There's another piece of information. So kite string is 160 meters long. Okay, so which side of our triangle is the kite string? Well, Montrell is flying the kite. So we want the distance from Montrell to the kite. That's going to be the string, right? So here's our kite string. So that is going to be 160. OK, and here's our question. What is the angle of elevation? What is the angle of elevation? That's what we don't know. So that's what gets our variable. It's an angle, so I'm going to give it the variable theta. So where is the angle of elevation? Well, that's an angle that's looking up. So we want to be down on the ground looking up to the kite. So it's going to be this angle here, that angle up. OK, so we've labeled our triangle. We've got two sides and a missing angle. So this is now just a normal 6.3 problem. OK, we want to know which sides we have. We use that to pick our trig ratio. And then we solve using the inverse. So the sides that we have, we've got the hypotenuse, and we have the adjacent side. OK, so that means we want to use cosine, right? Because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So my um, equation is going to be cosine of our unknown angle theta equals the adjacent side, which is 125 over the hypotenuse, which is 160. OK, now I want to get rid of cosine, and I do that using the inverse, right? So I want to do the inverse of cosine on both sides. So inverse on the left, and then the inverse on the right. One twenty five over one sixty. Okay. We know that cosine inverse and cosine cancel out. So on the left, I just have theta. And then this we put into our calculators, right? So I start by doing one twenty five divided by one sixty, hit enter. That makes this a decimal. And then we hit second, cosine inverse. I get 38.624. So because that third decimal is less than 5, that means I keep the second decimal the same. So 624 rounds to just 62. This is an angle, so our units are degrees. And there it is. There's the missing angle. All right, that is it for today. Um, please
please do your check for understanding and then you are done. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.